Hello generals and welcome back to Zero Hour 1.04. This is your host Jundi and we're here today once again in the Winter Classic 2017 tournament hosted by Lost Hero today in pink. I played for today I'm going to be Kirwa as our demo general playing against Funge as our nuke general. We are here in round two and there are still a few more games to go. Uh, and the map for you is Snowy Drought. Snowy Drought always going to be the map for map two. Uh, for the, Sorry, for round two. Unless the players do forget. Okay, so um, one supply, one barracks, and then going for the second supply, maybe for the third supply. I was going to go for a tunnel to wait and find out. Here comes Kidua with the worker, and he is going to go past. Yeah, okay. And there's the tunnel. Okay. And at the same time, we do have Fund with the supply truck, which he is not. Pushing forward. Ah, okay, I'll take it that way. Sorry about that, Funch. Uh, you are pushing forward. And uh, he probably won't get there in time. We do have Terrace coming out to try and deny and block that truck. Uh, force fire. No, no, stop it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tunnel does go up. Got Terrace over there. Bring it back. Bring it back. Now we do have Technical coming through uh, to kill that truck. And uh, I think Kira is quite safe. He should take the terrorist into the technical. Okay, there we go. Very nice. And Fungi is now seeing what's coming. Also got a worker in the back of his base. With the tone going up, nice. It's not even hidden away. Uh, okay, so technical going, going straight into a battle master. And will go down for sure. Yes, he will. Could take out the warfare tree. Nice split over there. Very nice split over there. I like that from Kira. Uh, making sure he did not go down to the radiation. But that... Ooh, that might just go down. Uh, terrorists will go down, yes, and so will the worker. Unfortunately, we'll try there from Kilo. Maybe he should not cancel it. I just send another technical through like that. Uh, I'm gonna try to take out the dozer, but I'd rather just take out the battle master because there's no chance to take out a technical. I uh, sorry, the dozer. Uh, he's gonna cancel that, yeah, cancel good. Okay, so in the meantime, we do have a bit more expansion over there. Going for the oils is Kilwa. And now we do have two Batmasters coming down on the right-hand side and one on the left-hand side. Maybe one down the middle. Maybe, maybe not. Funge on three supplies. Yeah, it's on three supplies. Okay, also going with the barracks. Going to uh, bunker off this side. And now two Batmasters taking on that one RPD and also going to take out that one worker, which you don't need two of. And also got a scorpion with rocket. Very good idea versus the Batmasters. Um, also got a worker going down to the radiation. And yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to see a uh, tech over there from Funt. Very good idea. And I'm pretty going to get into there. Very good. And also got Tank Hunter getting into there. Two Tank Hunters actually. Uh, he's going to lose that Batmaster if he's not careful. And by the time he's out, yeah, that's Batmaster goes down. Um, that one is still alive though. And we also have another technique going through and a tunnel going up over there. Got, uh, what did you just take out? Not so sure. Uh, I think that was the master actually, yeah. And uh, the scorpion just take out this battle master. Oh, no, it doesn't. I can't believe it. Actually, it goes down itself. We do have that technique over there. We just go down, fortunately. I don't know if I had anything inside. And now the battle master will go down. Can take the scrap, both of them. Ah, too late, only one. Uh, okay, so oil has now been taken by Kirwa. And over here, we do have what do we have? Nothing at the moment. Uh, turn up there. The tech is now completed. Uh, also got air fuel over there from Funge. Right, so we're going to see Helix over there, and let's see if Kirwa knows about this. Uh, he does see the airfield. Yeah, so we should probably see quads coming up very soon. We're going to see another tech terror over here from Kirwa. How many units does he have inside? That's the question. Oh, we do have two Battle Masters over there. And the technical going straight into the Battle Master. Not a good idea. Uh, yeah, it goes down. There we go. And no, nothing happens over there. And these RPGs also not doing anything. Terrorists do go down. RPGs do go down. And big loss over there for Kilwa. 
right over here nothing happening and over here we do see the helix now coming in i think it would have been better just to go straight to the base and kilo instantly making two stinger sides on that side maybe he's got some quads on this side find out in just a second uh where the helix gone helix is there would have been better to have that as surprise attack well kilo was expecting anyway i would have see it seen it but um rather than showing what he had okay gonna go for another Tech terror, terrorist now coming through to chase the Batmasters away. What, oh, both of them do go down. I'll go and see another technical. Uh, Apid is going to go quickly going to there. And where is the Helix? Here the Helix is. And the Scorpion doing absolutely nothing. We do have a quad push over there. Uh, going to lose a Scorpion or two. Yeah. And I do have them units. One Batmaster does blow. Uh, Helix going down nicely over there from. Um, oh, that was close. Nice play there from Kilwa. Uh, I'd rather take out the Batmasters. That's it, because they're going to blow up and do the chain reaction onto the Overlord, but unfortunately over there, he went for the Overlord first. All them rockets would have taken out the Battlemasters for sure. Okay, so Kirwa now in big trouble. He's still not taking the all refining as well. And in the meantime, we have Command Center going up for Funge. No Lotus as of yet, but another Helix is coming through. And Cash did have, he did have 2k, 2.5k, and roughly 2.5k over there for Kilo as well. Okay, here another demo bike, demo bike with the demolition upgrade, big problems, ooh, technical does get denied, and all the, the terrorists, and also the, um, demo bike. Terrorists also going down, yep, balance goes down, and I think Kirua is going down, unfortunately. So we do have another heat is going up, command center is up, he the artillery very soon probably. And then that's gonna be GG for Kilwa. He got another arm dealer and balance going up, very good. Uh Funge on 2k spending his cash, five and a half k there for Kilwa because he can't spend it. He has to be very careful. Um he needs to make two or three demo bikes at the same time, otherwise one single one is not getting through. As you've seen again and again and again. Okay, so Helix over there still hovering around or flying around. Uh, another gem bike over there. Please don't send it yet. Please don't send it yet. Oh, no. Oh, well. Helix going back home for the repairs. And we've got three helices over there. One of them might become a speaker leaks. I'm dealing going down. Quad coming out. No good versus Overlord, of course, and uh, instant death, unfortunate over there. Okay, Amzila is now out. Got balance going up, and loads of tones going up as well. Uh, just take something in, not so sure what it was. Yeah, the tunnel down, and Stinger Sides going down next, and then. He was going down as well. He has got three tones over there, but I don't really see any way of him getting out of this. Uh, when he take his uh, oils? Ah, there. I'd think and it's your lotus. Right. Anyway, so we do lose the left hand side. Well, Kilo does not me. And uh, here come the HDC now flying in. We also have an army of overlords plus ECMs. And uh, no gunning cannon yet on any of them. Here come the artillery, and you probably see the carpet. Yes, we do see the carpet coming through as well. And that's going to be GG for um, Kilo. Okay, so here comes the carpet. There's the artillery, and pallets going down. Yep, and that's GG. Okay. And Funge also surrenders out of that one. Okay, that's one little two Funge, and let's move straight on to game two. Game two, here it comes, and we're here, of course, on Snowy Drought. Plays the army's going to reverse the Funge as Demo General, playing against Kilua as Nuke. So let's see if Kilua is going to do three supplies, two supplies, or Helix, or what. And Funge, what's he going to do? Two supplies, three supplies, maybe even four supplies if he's really risky. Obviously, not worth it. Um, not at the start, anyway. But, uh, let's just see. Okay, so we do have uh, forward, yep, yeah, supply, and also over here, uh, supply. 
fungi on the other hand is coming over here, supply, supply, and probably tunnel, just like uh, Kirwa did. Somewhere around here, yeah, there we go. Okay, so tunnel is up, also got tunnel going up over here, and tunnel going up over there for defensive purposes, of course. And nothing really aggressive from Funj at the moment. Okay, also got aggressive truck over there from Kilwa. Playing a bit of oh, run straight into the supply truck. Okay, so supply truck does take out the worker, but it won't really take out, or will it? Let's just see. Uh, actually, going straight down to here, probably to deny a capture, uh, which isn't going to happen at the moment, but could do in the future. And try to take the oil. Maybe just waiting for the RPG, then run them over. That'd be a good idea as well. So let's see if Kilo does do that. Let's have a tech terror over there. We'll follow that in just a second. And here comes the supply truck. Super supply truck going to take out the RPGs. And uh, we do have a split over there from Fung. Very good. But he does not lose. Oh, very nice play over there. He managed to get all, all of the, uh, sorry, both of them into the supply truck. Uh, sorry, into the technical. I also got a Battlemaster over here from Kilo now. Going to deny that and also got nice, 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 very good. Um, might lose, yes, did lose. Oh, I think he just lost his scrap over there. Oh my god, yeah, he did lost his scrap over there. Five hundred dollars gone down. Uh, for Kilo. Okay, so the worker does get away for Funj. Also have the third supply over there, and here come the technical from Funj. Uh, now going to start harassing uh, Tector over here on the war factory first. Yep. And I'm going to go and harass the supply trucks. Very good. Okay, supply trucks now being harassed, but uh, Kilwa is on two supplies anyway uh, without that. And over here we do have one master going into the supply lines of Funge, which is going to be problematic for him. And yep, surely it would be in. But at the same time, we do have the soup technical to be. Uh, where the battle master? Um, one take it, take it. Oh, nice, nice. And another one. Come on, Funge. Oof, does get away just in time. Nice, nice. So, it was super technical over there. Where that doors are gone? Doors are, doors are, doors are. Uh, where's it going? Okay. And the uh, Batmaster said here in supply line of Funge, who has not realized as of yet. Uh, technical now coming here to chase the dozer, I believe. Is that his last dozer? Uh, no, there was. There's the dozer. And yeah, it does, does go down. I don't know if he's chasing that on purpose, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> nice stop, anyway. Okay, so Batman's trying to take out this worker. Ah, uh, 97%. Oh, dies up just after 100%. Both are uh, a nice play there from Fungi. Both the RPG do actually stay alive. I was about to say they both go down. And I can evac them back out and put them into there. Here you come the Batmaster. Finally takes out that Batmaster. And Fungi on only one spy all the time. Um, he needs to pop out of here. Oh, he's not in one supply. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, he like on half a supply or something. This is the only push that he's got. Um, the scorpions don't have no rockets. He's out of cash over there, as you can see. Uh, going to take out the super technical. And could make another super technical. That would be fantastic. Yeah, very good. Uh, we do have two scorpions over there. One does go down. And uh, so Funj is kind of dead. But two super technicals, uh, technical, sorry, could change the game. Let's just see. So there we go. Two, two super technical doing the damage. And also RPGs over there. Might take out Dragon Tank over there. And so did the Battle Master. Ooh, super technical might just go down. No, just stay alive. Nice, nice. And our supplies are going to go down for Kilwa. And we do have the uh, scaffold guy over there. So Funge on very low cash, as you can see. $168. He's got a worker over there. He should use that worker. And takes out the supply truck. Very good. And you do have an overlord over here. Big problem over there for Funch. Uh, he's not going to multiply the overlord. He's going to have to hit unknown tactics. But in the meantime, he is making more and more workers. He's now on three workers. Can make another one very soon. He should use all of his idle workers. If he has any more, that is. Uh, don't I just see that one over there? But anyway, Super Technical now coming over here, checking if there are mines or not. Uh, supply trucks now under threat, and they do not. There we go. One goes down, second one going down as well. We'll also have a Battlemaster coming to supply lines of Funge. Um, technical do retreat. And let's see if he's got anything in here. Yes, he's got one unit. 
So please do take it out, otherwise you're going to lose your supply lines once again. And now technical is coming forward, going to, ooh, have to be careful with the ECM. Uh, which now attacking, oh, Scorpion has gone to the front, so he's got nothing here to deny this uh, new Batmaster. is sending his technicals back home. Uh, so Fun in quite a bit of trouble over here. Even though the supplies have been harassed quite a bit of Kirwa, he's expanded quite nicely, as you can see. Okay, so Fun got enough cash and uh, maybe make a tech tower or something. I don't know, he just clicked on the barracks. And where are them technicals? Here they are. Okay, so we're going to find oh Lotus over here, which could actually shut down, but I wouldn't do it when there's two of them. Very risky. Uh, let's just see if she will do it. I would not. Uh, now it would be alright. Uh, maybe not now. If he's listening to this, yes he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. That was close. Uh, no need to force fire with the soup technicals. We do have the ECM now coming through. And the soup technical should be able to wake up just in time. Let's see. ECM now coming. Nope. Oh, unfortunately, the, super the guy's still moving. <laughs> That's something different. So the top part of the technical even went... Um, Disabled keeps on moving. Well, I suppose that's right anyway. The guy doesn't get disabled. And I think that's actually the last vehicle uh, that Funch has. He needs to put down some demo traps. Oh, quick retreat over there. Come pop back out now in just a second. Take that bottom out. I do have the capture over here from Funch after a long time. Uh, technical now coming down through to the top once again and it is empty here okay gonna find a dragon tank and also find the helix Helix is now going to take out the super technical very easy uh, tank is now coming here to take it out but at the same time we do have the big push over here from Kirwa palace will go down very very soon uh, supply does go down and uh, you could actually start attacking the helix uh, taking out the barracks oh one more shot only he could have done it. Uh, Helix wouldn't be able to chase the Helix uh, technical quick enough. But anyway, and that's Funge out of the game. Okay, so that puts the score 1 1. And let's move on to the next game. Here comes game 3, and we're going to be on Cold Territory. Cold Territory in the map. And players' armies are going to be Funge as China, playing against Kilo as Nuke. So once again, we've got Nuke again for the third time. Uh, twice random and once picked. Okay, so the map is called Territory, like I just said. Um, let's see what players are going to be up to. So we do have Standard China, of course, for Funge. Uh, he's probably going to go Defensive or maybe Helix. And Kilo, on the other hand, doesn't really need to go Defensive, but I'm not so sure um, what he will do. Uh, so with a nuke, obviously he can't send the fast new Batmasters early on. But if Fun does go for a Helix, which he is not doing, so he's just going for a double uh, War Factory instead. So double War Factory, um, Outpost, and Dragon Tanks. And so I've got double War Factory over here for Kilo as well. And Fun is up first. And who will take out the units first? Probably Fung as well. Any second now. Uh, there you go, one unit comes out. And at the same time, we do have nothing coming out over there. But uh, another unit. Yep, another one coming out over there. So double outpost, like I was saying. And over here we do have uh, outpo outpost and a battle master. Okay, so Batman's going to go straight into this outpost over there. Those are going there to repair that bunker. And over here, we do have an outpost dropping off one RPD. Uh, sorry, one tank hunter now coming over here. I'm going to face this outpost. So outpost versus outpost. Should have the vision. Yep, they both do. Over there, we do have the outpost now running away or getting chased by the Batmaster. And it does go down. Put TNT charge on there. No, it did not put no charge on there. Uh, but the Batmaster will go down to the gunning tank. Which might go down to the radiation. No, it does not. Okay, so Kilwa 
actually take the outpost. Very nice. Actually, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was wrong. Uh, the outpost belongs to Funch. I will tell you everything I hear. Um, so he actually lost. Yeah, he lost one as well. Okay, so outpost out once again. Another outpost out and three outposts over there. So this outpost will go not down. And won't go down. And over here we do have Drunk Tank over there from Cuba. And on the left hand side also got Nuke Bat Master. Uh, Dozer and Outpost. Point in supply. Center up. Uh, gonna go straight into Nuke Bat Master. Should be able to take it out. Uh, let's see. Um, yep. Oh, Outpost did go down though. Okay, got drunk drunk knight over there to deny the building over there, wooden hook, whatever you want to call it. And the drunk knight should keep on moving. Uh, but he's not doing outpost over there, dropping off some units, I think. Yeah, so a scout force, one there, one there, very nice. And we also have Kiro coming over there. A descending thing, new bat master over there, and also drunk knight going for a fast tech. Which I don't know if he needs that. Um, maybe he does, but saw the outpost. And we do have. Um, an airfield over here. I don't looking at uh, that distracted me. So airfield over there, but I don't see a uh, barracks as of yet. Where the barracks? Maybe just going to use a tank hunter from the outpost. Then we do our push over here on the left hand side. Um, takes that building out and a bunker is very very, very good. Uh, actually, we do have a barracks here. Okay, but Dragon can still actually sneak in Unit from this side. Lost. If you really wanted to, unit lost over here on the left hand side. Uh, lose the outpost, tank hunters do stay alive and where the helix, still no helix, we got barracks over there for the helix and we do have ECM tank, ECM tank, but the giant tank could still, could still get in over here uh, just get into there and firewall that down, very good protection uh, over there from the supplies uh, TNT charge maybe on the dragon tank, nope, and where the other dragon tank gone? oh yeah it went down do here a TNT charge somewhere Okay, I'm not building. Got a gun tank over here, trying to take out the dragon, but the tank on the front there could shoot that if he clicks on it. And I also hear Lotus Lotus over here from Kirwa, and this army from Kirwa now coming forward. And gun tank does mind to take out the dragon tank, very good. And two more outposts over there. Uh, one the scout post, one the outpost, and also here the helix over there. Uh, maybe I'm gonna make a second one. Tech is now going up for him, and you need that helix very fast. Actually, no, you can't even use it because there are two gun tanks over there. So I'm not so sure what he's gonna do to deny this. He needs to somehow get the bombers to go down so it explodes onto the units over there. Now I'm gonna have to run away with them units very, very quick. He's only got four units inside there, and he might as well cancel that tech, and he should be expecting the helices to uh, come to his base any second now. So there was a council there just in time where the other uh, dozer dozer is there. Could make another one. Uh, Funjon 3k and the helix now flying into the base of Kirwa who did not have a single gun tank in the base. Very, very bad. Where is the gun tank? 99. Dragon tank just still alive. Very, very good. Uh, still not gun tank over there. So it looks like there's going to be some sort of base trade. Um. Making another war factory over there, but the Heat is now doing some damage as you can see. Uh, war factory building gun in tanks, I believe. Yes, gun tank does come up, but it does not go down as of yet. Oh, big mistake over here from Kirwa. Not so sure what he. Ooh. And actually, where the gun, the gun tank? Oh, there it is. Uh, must have been a misclick from him as well. Uh, he did lose the war factory over there, but he did have a war factory over there. Making another dragon tank, sending him down to the base of Funge. Uh, sorry, Kirwa. And good evac over there just in time. Uh, what's coming out of there? Is it another gun tank? Who put a TNT charge? Oh, would have been nice to put it on the gun tank. But anyway, War Factory will take a bit of HP loss. Um, or maybe quite a bit now. Very nice, very nice. Nearly takes out. We do have a tank coming on the left hand side somewhere. Uh, where's it gone? Okay, there it is. Two of them. And now got the army of Kirwa leaving that alive for some reason. I'm going to the left hand side. Okay, so Fun in big trouble now. I uh, did have this outpost over here. Ready to take out this war factory, and I think he don't have a dozer. All right, Kiro does not have a dozer. Okay, so Fun just has to keep on moving. To be honest, he's gonna be making another helix. He does have seven k spare now, one and a half less. Um, where the output's gone, output is here. Overlord is there, and he could actually take out the war factory, and that'd be no more production of tanks for Kiro. Actually, no more production apart from supply trucks. 
Um, take out the Gatling tank. We don't really need to. Supply center did go down. We also have it. Oh, that was close. Not so sure why had that gone to the right side. Okay, all these tank holders over there ready to take out this overlord. Uh, can they take care? We also have a helix coming through, but it's not a bunker at the moment. He's getting focused down by the Gatling tank. I'm trying to fly around, but he's going to go down. Oh, that was close. Okay, so overall still alive, but it will go down just a second, I believe. And what is this army doing all the way back there? I have no idea. Overall might stay alive. Uh, Helix did go down, but Outpost will now take out the Warfare tree. And yes, no more production over there. And we also have all these supply trucks over there. Um, Fung on a lot of cash at the moment. But he didn't actually have anything to stay alive. Does he have a dozer? That's the question. Oh, nice drop off with. Oh, I love that. Very nice play over there from Funge. Dropping off with the Juggernaut with the Helix. Um, he's actually still got the outpost over there. Very, very good. And uh, does he not have a dozer? Did that dozer go down with the powers? I have no idea. So he, he can only make loads of helices. He, he should carry on doing that. China uh, is under attack. He got the cash. Over here, we do have the outpost now running away. Where that dragon tank gone? I have no idea. I'll put just come out of there. Put TNT charge. Very good. And start shooting. Very, very good. Uh, it's going to go down, unfortunately. But uh, I don't know. Find it in just a second. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so we've got loads of supply trucks now on the right hand side. Got a power over there. And still got the helix over there. Got another helix over there. He could make that into a bunker licks if he wanted to. I don't think he's got any units inside there. No, he hasn't. So he's going to make that into bunker licks. Now I've got 1100 left. And I think that's got a dragon tank inside. You're going to be very careful. And all oh, the Gatling tank is not coming. That's big problem. We also have a helix over there. A bunker licks. Dragon tank going to do the damage. And very close. Yes, he's going to get it. And this is the final push for both players, I believe. Fun trying to do the damage. And it goes down. Oh my god, what a close game. You are victorious. How close was that? Oof. Well played there from both players. Especially Fungi for staying in with China. Uh, but yeah, what a game. What a game. Uh, that's 2-1 to Fungi. And let's move straight on to game 4.